Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, um, I was going to be talking about vegan makeup and like the vegan makeup that I have, that I like, that I don't like, but instead of that boringness, I wanted to talk about October, which is like slowly creeping up. It's the 26th of September and I can't deal with time. <laughs> October is usually the time that I do Inktober um, and that is, if you didn't know, a challenge where you draw a picture every day. Usually you can follow prompts or whatever prompts you want. Um, the challenge is just to practice drawing. So you draw a picture every day using ink so it's like a one-shot picture, no you know, erasing lines and all that jazz. It's just to basically practice. Um, and usually I do it every year and I've done it every year for probably the past five years or something, you know, like a while. And me being the person who really likes to complete things when they commit, hates the idea of not doing it, but this year I am not doing it in October. Um, but it is what it is. I can't. I just can't. I have so many other things that I'm trying to do that the thought of trying to fit in another thing is just just hurting my brain. So no Inktober for me this year. What I'm going to do in October instead is Plantober. What's Plantober? It doesn't sound great. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's what other people call it. Probably not. Um, so if you know me, if you follow me on Instagram, um, have followed my blog, or even seen a really old video that I've done about this um, years and years ago, which I think is private now, but you may have seen it if you are a long time follower um, and watcher of this, whatever is happening here. Um, November is always saved for NaNoWriMo, which stands for National Novel Writing Month. And I do it every year. This year, potentially is my 10th year or 11th year which means every year I have written a minimum of 50,000 words in November and it's like baffling to me that I, I'm at this stage <laughs> where I've been doing it for that long um, but I love doing it. I write at least one book a year because of NaNoWriMo and then work on other things on the side um, with plans to actually get an agent at some point in my life when somebody decides that they like my writing <laughs> and it's not just me. Um, but yes, NaNoWriMo, it's a month where you write a novel in a month, 50,000 words, usually that's not the end of the novel, but I wanted to try and make it a bit more of a, a group thing because every year I do it on my own despite the fact that the NaNoWriMo website and like the social media presence is very inclusive. I always feel like I'm not included, mostly because I don't put myself into groups um, and I'm a very like lone wolf person who just likes to do things on their own. But this year I wanted to include you guys, whoever you are watching this, because if you've clicked this, it's probably because you're interested. Um, I wanted to include you guys in, in it. And that means that October, which is usually the month that I'm drawing, I've decided to dedicate to planning NaNoWriMo. For me this is a big deal, I'm a pantser, which means I have a story idea um, and I usually kind of have some elements where I've decided what's going to happen, where I want it to end, but then I write and I just see where the story takes me. But this year I have decided to actually be a good person and plan. Um, I actually have a degree in English Literature and Language with a focus on creative writing so I know mostly <laughs> how to do stuff. I've been writing books for 10 years, potentially 11, can't remember, and and I know how to write a book. So I want to help you guys write a book. If you are somebody who loves NaNoWriMo but kind of struggles at the start or somebody who starts NaNoWriMo and it pitches out and you never finish, I'm going to try and help you get to the finish line. So that means that for the next four weeks, um, so the four weeks in October, <laughs> who knew, um, I'm going to be doing a video every week which will tell you what to do that week. 
Um, and I wanted to make this video to say that that's what's going to happen and to explain what is going to happen in those weeks. So bear with me, I have a list. I'm going to be reading the list and trying to make it look like I'm not reading a list. So edits will be starting soon. I'm going to edit everything anyway because I can't talk to a camera. So what can you expect for Planetoba, I hear you ask? Nobody's asking. Um, well, let me tell you. Week one, we are going to decide on the basic plot of our novel. We're going to write a short synopsis. Um, we're going to decide on a handful of main characters. It depends what, what your story is about. But let's say three main characters. And we are going to come up with names and also the most fun, difficult part, the title of your book. Week two, we are going to flesh out the synopsis. So come up with the start of the book, the middle of the book and the end of the book. We're going to be doing fun character sheets and we are going to be starting a Pinterest board. This is going to be optional, but it's highly recommended from me. In week three, we are going to be doing a beat sheet and also character plot points. And in week four, because why not save the hardest stuff till the very last week, um, we're going to be doing time management and planning. We're going to be breaking down our story into the five points of um, story. I um, mean, yeah, this is going to be about fiction, so we're going to be doing the five points of fiction, which is the exposition, the rising action, the climax, the falling action, and then the resolution, revelation, whatever happens at the end. And with all that information, we are going to be breaking it down into chapter planning. So that week is going to be difficult, but with the three weeks previous, you'll probably not find it as hard as it sounds right now. <laughs> so. If that sounds like something you want to do with me, please stick around. Um, I will be blogging this, so I'm going to write this all down in a blog. And then each week I'm going to be doing a video for all this. So don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video and leave me a comment if you're doing it. I am signed up to NaNoWriMo and my novel is on there. I don't think I've put the synopsis in yet because I've not properly worked on it because I'll be doing that with you. But I'll leave the link to NaNoWriMo below. If you are interested, sign up. If you are already signed up, add me as a friend. And I'm going to be helping you with all sorts of things. So tips on like programs to use and um, helpful, fun things to make it more exciting. And, um, and no stress. <laughs> Once all this planning is done, I will also probably be dropping in here weekly to talk about how the actual writing is going, what sticking points I'm having. So basically for the next two months, we're going to be talking about writing. Fun? Maybe. Boring? Potentially, if you don't like it. But if you do like it, just... Let's just do this together. <laughs> I hope this sounds like something you want to see, watch, hear all of those things um, and yeah I got your back so I guess I'll see you next week with the first video wow it's almost November wow the sun just came out <laughs> what a great way to end um, I'll see you next week don't panic let me know in the comments what you're doing goodbye